when it comes to ARC. Building solo can be difficult, so that's why we proudly present Top 5 Solo Rat Holes with Full Base Designs for Beginners. Before this video gets started, we are raising money for Feeding America, which will end on July 31st. For every subscriber we get, we will donate one cent to charity. At the end of the month, we will match this total. Feel free to subscribe today. And coming at number 5, this can be found at 30.3 latitude and 64.2 longitude. This spot can be found in the terminal realm. Now I know this spot can be argued as not being a rat hole because it's so open with the world border, it actually makes a really good and super hidden spot. This spot is pretty flat, has tons of room, and is out of the way, so you don't have to worry about many people finding you. Now here is the full base design. We decided to downside on this base compared to the last build on this location. Inside is everything a solo would need, and plenty of servers for starting off and getting going on a new server. And coming at number 4, this can be found at 83.2 latitude and 63.1 longitude. This can be found on Lost Island in the Desert Island area. This spot is really small, but it's perfect for a solo looking to stay hidden when starting off. Here is the spot. Now here is the full base design. We decided to push the base as far back as we could while still leaving plenty of room for building inside. The base has a good amount of turrets, an indie forge on the inside, and everything you need for a solo base. We even added this little adobe thing on the front to make it kind of blend in so it doesn't even look like that there's a base here. And coming at number 3, this can be found at 33.1 latitude and 58.6 longitude. This spot can be found on the center. Many of you guys may know this spot as it's pretty popular. The spot is a medium size with decently flat land to build with. The entrance is on the ground and it's located in a really weird spot as it's near our main spawn point, but raiding it is going to be very tricky due to the size of the entrance.
For every subscriber in the month of June, we will donate one cent to a charity of your choice at the end of the month. Feel free to subscribe down below. Now here is the full base design. We decided to place a ton of bear traps inside to make sure players cannot throw out a dino and ride it in here to soak turrets. Rather than a standard L-shaped wall we have built in here, we just switched it up and put a regular wall with everything you need inside that's easy to get when starting off. Call me whenever you feel alone, babe And when you need to cry, I'll be by your side Call me whenever you need someone, babe And when you need to escape from a thousand fires I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are And I'm gonna miss you, I will never lie Call me whenever you need someone, babe But I am in the jungle of love and coming at number 2, this can be found at 50.4 latitude and 56.4 longitude on extinction. Now this spot has been featured in some of my videos in the past, and it's not the biggest spot, but I've found it to be perfect for a solo player. Now one issue I ran into is the lack of space, and some items will poke through the ceiling, so as long as you can place stuff like your Andy Forge in proper areas, you will be fine. Here is the full base design. We had to put a chandelier on the outside due to not enough room inside for defense. Having turrets outside like this allows for a lot more defense and even more storage inside. We placed bear traps all around to make it harder for a solo to run up and soak. Inside is another small turret wall with a very compact base with everything you need. To get in and out, you will need to use some grapples. And coming in number 1, this can be found at 46.6 latitude and 91.9 longitude. This can be found on Valguero. This small spot has always been known as a good spot for many reasons. It's super hidden, has fake water in it, and has an amazing layout. Now here is the full base design. We decided to push everything back into the spot to make sure it's as hidden as possible. There are tons of turrets to ensure no one is getting in. The inside has one of my favorite layouts as you have easy access to everything without having to worry about it being too compact. But anyways, that's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to donate one cent to Feeding America.